Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Animal Talk with Rachel. Today we're starting something brand new called What's the Difference, and we'll be focusing on alpacas and llamas. So when you go to the zoo, you can figure out which is which without looking at a sign or anything. And I know I get them confused all the time, so researching this video actually really helped me, and hopefully it'll help you too. So we're going to start at the appearance, and that'll help you determine which is which by just looking at it. So the llamas are actually a lot bigger than alpacas. They can be a foot to two feet bigger than alpacas. And their ears are also bigger. Um, as you can see in this picture, they're kind of long and curved. I, call, I like to call it a banana shape, but you can call it whatever you want. And they also have a lot longer of a face. It kind of looks like a horse's face. And their face isn't really fuzzy. It doesn't have a lot of that uh, fuzzy looking hair around it. And okay, let's go to alpacas. Now alpacas are only about three feet tall of the withers, and the withers are where the base of the neck and the body meet. So where they meet, that's the withers, and they're about three feet tall there. Their ears are short and pointy. As you can see in this picture, they're definitely a lot shorter than llamas, and their faces are a lot fuzzier than llamas, and they have a shorter looking face. It's kind of hard to tell in this picture, but it's definitely shorter. So next we're going to talk about the hair. Now both of them have hair called fiber, and it's used to make wool for sweaters, scarves, mittens, all these things. And both of their um, coats come in a variety of colors, like black, white, brown, tan, all the colors. And llamas have longer hair on the outside and shorter hair um, underneath that longer hair that's kind of softer. So longer hair on the outside, shorter hair on the inside. And alpacas normally have that fuzzy looking um, fiber. And there are some kinds of alpacas that have that long hair, but most of the kinds that you will see will have the short, fluffy looking hair. And alpacas have a lot higher quality fiber than llamas, so a lot of people, a lot of people prefer that kind over llamas. Now, can you guess which is which? Well, the two on the right are alpacas, and the one on the left is a llama. One key factor in these pictures are the ears. You can tell with the llama that it's very curved and the other two are very short. Next we'll talk about their personality. Llamas are more independent than alpacas and they can also guard themselves and other herds of animals and even alpacas. Lots of people say that they will spit, but they'll only spit if they feel threatened or other things. So as long as you don't make them feel like they're in any harm, then you should be fine. Alpacas are a lot more shy and timid, and they just need each other, or they could get freaked out. They actually need to live in a herd with other alpacas, or they could die of loneliness. Yeah, it's sad. That's how much they depend on each other in the herd. So next we're going to talk about basunias and guanacos. These are related to camels and llamas and alpacas. So um, the basunia is basically the wild version of an alpaca, while the guanaco is is a wild version of a llama. Both of these animals live in wild South America and in the Andes region in Peru, kind of in that area. So as you can see with the guanaco, it does look like a llama, especially with the ears and the face area. And the vasunia looks a lot like an alpaca, especially with the ears in this picture. You can barely see them. They're very short and pointy and their face is a lot more fuzzy. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and comment below what animals you get mixed up because, I don't know, I might do a video about it. So thanks again for watching and see you next time.